Hi there, today we're going to practice subtracting below 20. So to subtract, remember we're taking away. So we're going to be taking away numbers less than 20. For instance, if I gave you the number 16, and I asked you to take away or subtract 4. Well, one strategy we can use is to count back. So we'd start at 16, and we'd count back 4. One hop, two, three, four, and we land at 12. So the answer is 12. So counting back is a strategy we can use to help us to subtract below 20. Let's try another one with counting back. So let's try this one, 19 minus 3. Let's use our number line and find 19. So here we have 19. And we're going to go back three. So using your finger, trace along, we're going to go back three hops. One, two, three. What number do we land on? All right, we land on 16. So 19 minus three is 16. Another strategy we can use is we can count up to the bigger number if the numbers are fairly close. So the smaller number is 14. So if we count up to 17, the hops that we make will also show us the difference. So let's see if we can find the smaller number. So we find 14, and we can count on to do this. So the way we counted back before, let's count on. So we make one hop to 15, we're getting to 17. Two, three hops. So we went three, so our missing number is Three. Now let's check that. We could have counted back to do that, but it would take us a lot longer. So here we are at 17. Let's count back 14 to see if it's the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Did we land on three? Yes, we did. But do you see how long that took? If the numbers are fairly close to each other, count on to find the answer. Look at the smaller number, count on from the bigger to the bigger number, and that number that you counted on will be your answer. It takes a lot less time than counting back 14 hops. Okay, let's try this one. What's 16 take away 2? Now you've got two strategies we've used. You could count on from the smaller number up to the bigger number. That's a big difference. So the strategy that might work best for you is to count back. So if we count back to 16, then go to 15, and then to 14, and the answer is 14. Nice job. Now let's try a word problem. How would you write 19 minus 3 as a subtraction sentence? 19 minus 3. Okay. So you'd write your 19 first. Am I going to have an, an addition symbol, a plus symbol, or a minus symbol? That's right. It says it right here. Minus. We're subtracting. We're taking away. Minus 3. Now let's see if we can solve that. So your subtraction sentence would be 19 minus 3. Great job, let's solve it now. We would, would we use our counting on or our counting back strategy? There's a big difference between these. Counting back would be the better solution. So if you count back 3, what number do you get? That's right, you get 16. Great job. All right, we have another word problem here. If you have 20 apples and you take away seven apples, how many do you have? Well, we could use our number line, but we have 20. So the bigger number is 20. And it says take away, so we know it's minus that's seven apples. So how are we gonna figure this out? You could count back seven. You could count up. 
Could you also draw a picture? Let's draw a picture out and see if we can figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So I have my 20 apples. How many am I taking away? That's right, I'm taking seven away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I'm gonna count up the rest. One, two, three, four, five. This is another five, so that's 10. And then three more. 11, 12, 13. The answer is 13. In review, you can count on to subtract below 20, you can use your number line, you can count back, and you can also draw pictures to help you when subtracting below 20. Great job, and I'll talk to you soon about math.